This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 149. So given the graph of f of x here, sketch the following transformations. So A, here we have negative f of x plus 2. So what do we know what happens? Well, the negative is a reflection across the x-axis, and the plus 2 is shifted up vertically two units. So this is a vertical shift up two units, right? And this is a reflection across our x-axis. Be careful, do not put it across the y-axis, the x-axis, okay? So let's go ahead and do the reflection first, right? Because um, this happens later in the order of operations. So the reflection, I'm gonna do this in two stages. First, I'm going to use green um, for the reflection here. So the reflection is just looking at the x-axis as a mirror, right? And we're going to go ahead and put every point is going to be on the other side of the mirror. So this point here goes to the other side of um, the on the other side of the x-axis, and the points on the mirror stay there, right? So this point stays on the mirror, and we keep going up. So this point goes up two, right? This point goes up four. And here we have the reflection part, okay? And this one again stays on the mirror. And here we're going up two and up four. So here we go. That's just the reflection. We also need to do a vertical shift up and then we're done. So I'm gonna do the final product in blue is shifting up two units. So every point moves up two units. So here's the point, this point moves up two units, this point moves up two units, right? And it makes this shape. This point moves up two units, right here. Here we go, this point moves up two units. This point moves up two units as well. So every point just moves up two units. As you can see, um, it's Sometimes helpful to do this with a ruler. This point moves up two units, right? Everything is just moving up two units. Um, here we go. This point also moves up two units. There we go. Okay, so in blue here is um, what we want, right? And green is just the stage before, so I can even erase the one in green if I wanted to, right? Because that one doesn't matter anymore. And I can even erase the one in black because I just want the final product of my transformation. Okay? So here in blue is the final product. The transformation, again, is um, reflected across the x-axis and then shifted up to units. All right, let's go on to part B. Part B, we have a different um, transformation taking place. Oops. So our transformation now is, first of all, inside the argument, plus two means what? This means shifted horizontally. So horizontal shift plus two means left, right? If it was negative, it would mean right. So left two units. And half means go, we are going to vertically shrink or compress, shrink by a factor of two. Okay? And again, we should do this one first because it's on the inside arguments, kind of like the order of operations. So I'm going to use um, green again to start us off. Shift left two units. Everything shifts two units to the left. One, two. 1, 2, right? This is just shifted to the left. Um, 1, 2. There we go. One, 2 here. Um, 1, 2 here. Okay. 
So that's my first transformation. One, two, shift it to the left. Okay, so let's shift it to the left. Now I want to vertically shrink by a factor of two. I'm going to do that in blue because that's the last one will be done. So that means take every point and the height we multiply by two. So this point, what's the height? Zero. Zero times two is still zero, so it stays there. This point, the height is two. Two, I mean, by factor, of, not of two, I wrote that wrong, factor of one half, excuse me. So zero times one half is still zero. Over here, we are at height two. Two times one half becomes one, right? So this becomes this region here, right? We're just kind of vertically shrinking by a factor of one half. Two here, the height is two. We're going to multiply by two. So that becomes one. Zero stays at zero, right? Because zero times one half is still zero. So I'm going to connect these lines here. Negative two here times one half becomes negative one, and you're gonna see that this is how the graph looks. Negative two becomes negative one. We're multiplying by, again, um, by our constant one half, all the points. Negative four times half is negative two, right? So here we go. This is the final graph. As you can see, it's just vertically compressed. Like it's like we took something on top and bottom and squeezed the graph together. And now we have a less stretchy and now shrunken graph. Okay. Again, I'm going to erase um, this graph and this graph because our answer is just in, in blue there. And I don't want anything else to confuse me. Okay. So there's our answer in blue. It's not f of x. It's over here. It's 1 half f of x plus 2. And it went through two transformations. And there is the graph. Okay? All right. So that ends CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, number 149.